Hey guys, Sunny here. I'm a privacy and security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Um, it's pretty early, my girlfriend is still sleeping, so I will not be talking very loud. Um, but nonetheless, when I watched my girlfriend watch the episode on digital signatures yesterday, it made me realize that I really approached it from a security perspective when this audience is likely here for privacy stuff. Uh, and actually, digital signatures are really, really important for privacy as well. Now, don't get me wrong, in the context of security, it's critical. But in the context of privacy, it's really important. Uh, so let's go down memory lane. Uh, a while back, I published an episode called your, uh, Down Your Computer Isn't Yours, Rabbit Hole, and How to Patch Mac OS. Um, so that whole episode broke because um, some security researcher noticed that when uh, that person was opening, uh, or when we were opening, everyone on Mac OS was opening apps, uh, a little package was sent to Apple servers. That package contained uh, the certificate, the developer certificate used to sign that specific app. Uh, so that was actually very similar, uh, yet so very different from the digital signatures I mentioned in last episode. Uh, what happened here is our computers were broadcasting over ClearNet, so that payload was not encrypted, meaning anyone between us and Apple servers could eavesdrop on it. It was revealing essentially, you know, a computer at this specific IP address um, is using an app signed by, for instance, the Signal developer certificate, revealing that we were using Signal. And the same could apply to Electrum or any other app that is packaged using the Apple developer program. Now, that not only meant that Apple could know that, you know, someone at specific IP address is, uh, you know, signed in to Apple using an Apple ID, but is also using XYZ apps. And that's a huge breach of privacy. Now, back then, uh, I recommended to block the OCSP server uh, using slash etc slash host. If you want to do this, you can go and watch the episode. But many of you recommend, uh, many of you commented saying, son, if you do this, it's really bad for security because then apps on your computer could be compromised and you wouldn't know about it. So what that means is we are relying on Apple uh, to be a gatekeeper. We're relying on Apple to verify that apps on our computers are built by developers that are A, paying Apple to have a developer certificate, but more importantly, B, um, somehow Apple is saying, yeah, this app is cool, that developer is okay. Um, so this is a, a form of centralization. That means that Apple becomes a gatekeeper and in order to operate uh, securely, users have to trust Apple. Now, do you trust Apple from a privacy perspective? Perhaps I don't, uh, I still use Mac OS. There's an episode on this, I'll link it in the description. But nonetheless, for sensitive stuff, I am moving away from Apple more and more and I will be bringing you guys in that journey. And that's kind of what we started talking about digital signatures. PGP digital signatures. So why are PGP digital signatures so important? Well, if we don't want our computers to broadcast to Apple and the whole fucking world, sorry for the bad word, it's I, it blows my mind that Apple wouldn't at least use HTTPS for that protocol. It's it's incredible. But nonetheless, we are broad, like instead of broadcasting to the whole world uh, that we are using XYZ apps uh, or that we're dealing with XYZ developer, I should have said, well, instead, there's an alternative, and that is PGP digital signatures. The internet, the grassroots internet that I absolutely love, was built on the premise of decentralization. There was no central entity that could control the internet. And this now is no longer true because Amazon Web Services uh, controls a huge part of the internet. You guys saw that in the context of Parler. A bunch of tech giants were able to essentially kill Parler overnight by pulling the plug now, this is the kind of stuff that I'm against. I'm not saying I'm for or against Parler. I created an episode on that that you guys can watch. But what I'm saying is I absolutely love and value technologies that enable us to decentralize the internet. And that is what PGP Digital Signatures does uh, do. Sorry, I can validate that a specific app was signed by a specific uh, uh, author or a specific signer and do that without relying on a central, uh, you know, company such as Apple. It's, it's between me and a developer. And if I trust that developer, I can then trust their work. And, and that, that is so precious. 
that is why I spend such an immense amount of time putting together episodes like last one that really perform shitty because those things are so important. If we don't put more love towards this kind of technology, towards PGP digital signatures, towards decentralizing the internet again, well, eventually a handful of large companies will essentially own the internet and by extension own us. As a matter of fact, I've heard many times that we don't even own the, the operating system when we're using Mac OS. Now, I might be naive. Okay, I'll, I'll see that probably in the comments, but we don't even own our computer. Now, for people like you guys, not you specifically, but a, a lot of people, I mean, people using Gmail, they don't own their email service provider. They actually don't even own their email address. That means someone can pull the plug on the email address. I mean, we live in a world where we're owning less and less and where we're using free tech more and more. And what that means essentially is that we're handing over our power to someone else. And that is what centralization is all about. That is why I believe in Bitcoin. That is why I believe in an open internet that is decentralized. That is why I am trying to share as much of my knowledge as possible so people can host their own servers, so that people can host their own email, so that people can break away from those handful of companies uh, that are essentially owning us. So I hope this sheds a little bit of light on why digital signatures are critical for privacy as well as security. And yeah, I'll see you soon in another episode. Bye.